welcome to the bs banking show ketan good to have you here how do you see the point of sale business model evolving from here on so uh, ragu thank you for inviting me the pos business has been going at a 4 5% rate on a annual basis hmm. i think it will continue to grow at the same pace for the uh, next 3 4 years so there is a lot of churn happening in the industry uh, merchants are moving from one service provider to the other but the new merchant addition is not is not more than 4 5% on a annualized basis what are the specific issues you face in onboarding merchants so so ragu there are two issues right uh, now with qr coming in and with no mdr happening and no rental happening right you just put the qr sticker and you are able to accept payments without paying anything and there is no mdr there is a transaction of 100 rupees you get 100 next day morning into your account so these two are issues which pause acquirers are facing uh, uh, on a terminal since there is a capital cost involved the acquirer will have to charge rental to the merchant which the merchant doesn't want to pay and the second is mdr since pause is a card led model and there is mdr on that the merchant now is used to not paying mdr right and these are the two issues why uh, we feel that the pause is not growing as much as it should grow like the qr business so if mdr as a source of revenues off the table almost off the table how do you diversify your income streams so so ragu you know uh, if mdr is off then you have to use qr as a way to acquire a merchant and then cross sell and upsell so mm-hmm. you 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 end up like most of the players today are lending uh, selling insurance doing inventory management uh, billing these are the multiple the ways of getting revenue from the merchant by acquiring mm-hmm. him cheap mm-hmm. acquiring a pos merchant will cost you between 3000 and 4000 for every merchant acquired mm-hmm. but a qr merchant can be acquired for 250 to 300 rupees so mm-hmm. you know uh, cross sell is where you will you will make revenue and the other is upsell right if you see mm-hmm. a lot of transactions happening you will be able to give a cheaper pos device to the merchant so that he can accept card uh, payments also so these are the only two uh, areas where you can make revenue if you acquire a qr merchant when it comes to m5 what are your initiatives on these front so on the pos side what we've done uh, ragu is we've tied up with banks banks have a captive base uh, we don't want to acquire on our own so we were we were earlier uh, acquire on our own where we used to go and compete with banks mm-hmm. currently we've changed our model as far as pos is concerned we want to partner with the banks because we have we have the uh, platform we have the inventory and we have the tech to support the banks the banks are good in so my pitch to the banks have been that you know you want current accounts you are not good in payments i am good in payments and i have nothing to do with current accounts can we partner mm-hmm. together where i can help you increase your current accounts that has worked well as we speak we've tied up with 20 odd banks the question is that when you say lending other banks also can give one can give loans so what is the usp of your lending vis a vis other lenders see uh, ragu uh, one i will not lend to a bank merchant but uh, just to tell you banks also don't want to lend to these merchants banks don't don't want to do unsecured loans to these merchants they want to do secured loans whereas most of these small merchants are in need of unsecured short term loans which the banks don't want to do so there is there is play for both a uh, couple of banks where uh, they've allowed us to lend to their merchants what we are doing is uh, we are we are ensuring that we keep the banks updated on how the loans are going so that if there is a larger loan required the bank knows uh, whether it wants to lend to the customer or not right it's not due to credit or, or a subprime customer when it comes to them do you see this business evolving into an inventory management to this business no not not inventory management there is no money to be made in a uh, inventory management uh, business but this business will, will evolve in whoever uh, the, the the company which will do well is the company where the entire ecosystem is covered where there are multiple revenue streams you are not dependent you are not a one trick pony or you are not dependent on one single revenue stream if you have multiple revenue streams with the merchant and you are uh, completely into his ecosystem right Uh, if you are if you are able to provide inventory billing uh, other services that he wants tax uh, plus a pos or a, a sound box then you are sorted how do you see the large issue of upi pricing in all of this i don't think the government it might was this is my personal view i don't think the government is going to charge on upi debit at least uh, if it happens then there will be a huge uh, 
uproar and cry right i don't think it is going to happen credit uh, too early at this point in time but what at least what i am seeing is uh, more than 2000 uh, the transactions are less and plus a lot of merchants are not accepting rupee credit cards at this point in time i'll i'll just give you my personal example i was in apollo spectra hospital uh, with someone and i was making a payment through paytm where my rupee credit card is linked they declined the payment so i'm sure this will be happening with a lot of merchants uh, and this was a transaction which was less than 2000 it was 1300 bucks but it was rejected so uh, currently from a merchant if i think from the merchant's point of view he doesn't know uh, whether the transaction is going to be less than 2000 or more than 2000 he doesn't want to accept credit cards at this point in time because he's so used to not paying mdr uh, to pay mdr is going to be a huge change and that will take time it is not going to happen in a jiffy now the issue is that the whole idea of upi rupee credit cards was to widen acceptance if That's merchants right. are going to resist what happens to the whole concept itself if you think from the merchant's point of view he can't keep resisting right if he loses sale uh, i had an option of using my debit card but if i walk if i would have walked away and a couple of customers like me would have walked away the merchant would start then start accepting uh, rupee credit cards and he'll price it accordingly right mm. currently the service that was offered to me for 1300 he'll charge 1350 for it mm. but ultimately it is the customer who's going to bear it do you think that uh, the entire idea of upi pricing should be linked to the turnover of the establishment theoretically yes ragu but very difficult to do it right uh, most of the shops also have multiple uh, entities within that shop to ensure that they don't cross the uh, uh, threshold of 20 lakhs so they have multiple uh, part- proprietorships and partnerships within that so it's very difficult you know uh, at this point in time i don't think the country is ready for that you mean to say it's very hard to slice and dice merchant establishment based on that's the right. turnover that's right larger gst ones you can do but uh, of the 40 odd million uh, merchants 28 to 29 million are below the gst threshold how will you uh, slice and dice them ketan it was good to have you on the bs banking show we look forward to having you again have a good day thank you ragu thank you so much thank you bye appreciate it bye if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. I am the blue of the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success soar high. I will achieve nation's trusted bank sbi the banker to every indian